Welcome back to the channel, guys. Arthur here from Draft Media, here to talk about the French swingman from Mega Basket, Malcolm Casalone. Malcolm Casalone is a 21 year old French combo guard who, as of December 1st, has been averaging nearly 14 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists over the span of 8 games. Malcolm has been on draft radars for quite some time, but I believe this will be the year a team selects him on draft night. The Frenchman has looked really good in transition this season. He has shown off his athleticism and much improved composure. He has also filled out his frame really well and has the size to compete at an NBA level. Malcolm moves without the ball really well, which is a great sign to see. He will more than likely be a shooting guard in the NBA, so moving without the ball will play a vital role in his success. Casalone is a left-handed player, so naturally he will be more successful going left. He definitely is a lot more comfortable on that side of the basket and will look to attack left more often than not. We can see how composed this game is as he's able to follow through with these very tough finishes. He uses his shoulder to shield off defenders and create space without fouling. He thrives off the catch and in dribble handoff situations, two things that will be a major player in the NBA. His right hand, however, could use some work. Although he's able to finish a few of these drives, we can see how much less comfortable and polished he looks with his right hand. I don't think it's bad enough to be a major concern, but it is definitely worth mentioning. Malcolm also does a good job at getting to the line, averaging close to 4 free throw attempts per game. However, he's shooting 67% from the free throw line, which definitely needs to improve. The biggest concern with Malcolm's game comes from behind the arc. He has never shot the ball well in the past and that hasn't changed this season. However, I have some hope for him as a catch and shoot player in the NBA. I believe if his shot selection improves and he focuses on strictly shooting the ball when he's open and has his feet set, he'd be knocking them down at a much higher clip. However, that could just be wishful thinking. In reality, he's shooting a dreadful 29% from three and to make matters worse, right under half of all field goals attempted by him are for behind the arc. Malcolm has also struggled shooting off the dribble. A lot of his shots are way off the mark which doesn't look too good for his NBA aspirations. Luckily for him, as long as he doesn't take these shots in the league and focuses on improving his shooting when spotting up, he will be a very good role player for a franchise. Casalone's shot has also been unsuccessful when he runs off screens. He struggles to set his feet in time and ends up falling after the shot both times because of it. Malcolm has found his most success in playmaking out of the pick and roll, proving he could be a legitimate secondary ball handler for an NBA team. He can be a dynamic playmaker at times and displays his passing abilities with these assists.
holds Malcolm back from being a point guard in my opinion is his handle. Although it is viable, he does have moments where it isn't pretty and in the modern NBA that won't cut it. All too often Malcolm is forced to pick up his dribble by the defense and puts himself in risky situations that can very well turn into live ball turnovers. Kazalun has also struggled with ball security. He's averaging 2.4 turnovers a game, which nearly puts him at a 1 to 1 assist to turnover ratio. On the defensive side of the ball, Malcolm has shown some true potential. He brings that NBA ready 6 foot 6 frame as well as a 6 11 wingspan, which helps him disrupt his opposition. He has also been good in rotations, protecting the paint against bigger opponents. However, where Malcolm thrives most is definitely in the passing lane. He's averaging two steals per game and uses his anticipation skills and long wingspan to create turnovers. I believe Malcolm will definitely hear his name called come June. He will most likely go at some point in the second round and a team could use him as a draft and stash selection. However, I believe Malcolm could contribute to an NBA franchise today. My NBA comparison form is Ken Rich Williams player who is not elite in any trade, but makes winning plays and is decently well-rounded. Like Williams, he brings secondary ball handling, defense, and finishing ability. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the Draft Media family.